they help us, I think, as much as we help them. Cody's a chocolate lap, and he's only one years old. In the night, he will have nightmares, he will have terrors, and he'll just shaking like he's having a seizure. Dusty is um, a cockapoo mix, and he thinks he's a Rottweiler. He has a very big dog attitude. With Cooper, him and his brother were found roaming the streets. He was all skin and bones. They were rescued. They were going to be put down. Yes. These dogs were throwaway dogs to end up in the shelter, and then prisoners sometimes are considered throwaway, and it's like we team up together. They help us, we help them. These dogs are being trained for autistic children. That's our main focus. Oh, good boy, Nuts. Go ahead, tug it. We've interviewed the families. Once the match is made, and they see the child and the dog's personalities are good together, then we further train the dog to meet that child's needs. Good boy, Dusty. If they have needs of stemming, stemming is where, you're, where they're scratching and they can't feel how bad they're scratching. So Cody's being trained to stop them and nudge their hand and take it away. Yes? The first little boy that matched up with Cooper was a three-year-old and he was a runner. We were anchor. And if the little boy tried to run, Cooper was supposed to anchor. And then the little boy wouldn't be able to drag a 94 pound dog. Release. <laughs> Good boy. Dusty is actually going to go to a woman who is um, in a wheelchair instead of a person with autism. He's like the wonder dog at retrieval. She drops things, and we've trained Dusty to pick up whatever she drops and to return it to her lap. And he can pick up trash. Dusty, get it. Drop it in. And put it in the trash can. That's it. Thank you. Let's go. He can get clothes out of the dryer. The inmates got a wheelchair specifically in the institution to do training with him. This is what I want to do for the rest of my life. When I get out, I plan on training dogs, working with dogs, saving dogs. Can you speak? Yes. Good boy. I'm going to volunteer to continue with Pathways, but out there with Jeanette. Dusty, look. Tug. Training Dusty and learning this skill has really helped me get out of myself and, and realize I am worthy of, of getting better. I am worthy of change. It teaches you commitment, dedication, unconditional love. It's sad when they leave. I'll cry for days, but then another one will come in, and the next one will need love and care. and Release. Good boy. They haven't found a family for him, thank God. <laughs> so we still have him for a little while longer. I can only imagine when he leaves. <laughs> That's just the camera. Yeah, I'm going to miss him a lot. I really am. And this is his calling. I swear he's done this in a past life or something because he's just, he's phenomenal at everything he does. I am sad because it's, you get to know them. They're your friends. They're your family. But then I have to think of where they're going and what they're going to do. And that just changes all of it. And just, you know, and then I can't wait for the next one. <laughs> See? <laughs> he comes out with toys. It's going gonna, it's gonna to help me succeed. I can succeed in life and I don't have to worry about coming back here. I will never be back here. They get it all in one package. We're, we're being saved they're being saved, and a child out there has someone that can save them. They're awesome for giving us these dogs. And it's our second chance, too. Dusty, say your prayers. Oh, God, thank you for saving my life and giving me a second chance. Thank you for Pathways. Amen. Yes, good boy.